In the second part, we will calculate the mature according to the payment condition 15, 30, 60, 90 days, or in general, X days. We will calculate the date of the invoice with the function now in the format of cell chose the category date and type days month without hour. But this function now is variable according to the date. If we change the date, it will change. And so, if we open this Excel file to a different date, the date of the invoice will be the date of Windows, like this example. The date of the invoice now becomes August 10, which is not practical. So, the best method is to enter the fixed date. We will see how to do it after. Now, we will enter the date manually. Normally, the maturity is the date of the invoice plus the number of days. It is an easy addition at first sight. Of course, is the parts are numbers. But the complexity in this calculation is the first part is a number, date. But the second is a text, 30 days. So it's impossible to add number to a text. To show you this error, first add in the same invoice a field that's called payment condition, preferably before the due date and apply the formatting of the other fields. The fastest procedure is to drag and insert the field and use the icon to reproduce the formatting and then enter the value 30 days and then we calculate the sum in the due date field equal to the date of the invoice plus payment condition, in this case 30 days, and that's the mistake because 30 days each text contains numbers and letters. There are several solutions to this problem. I will address this topic in special course, the extraction of numbers from a text, knowing that in Excel. There is no function that does the extraction except the combination of several functions or use of VBA programming in Excel. The first solution is very simple. Rename field payment condition, we add in parentheses days and enter the value 13 without days. And this is and that is the calculation of the due date is done very well as you see. But we want to work with the second solution, let the addition of the number and text, but use the function if. Then the due date equal the date plus if condition equal 30 days between two double quotes. If it is true, it takes the value 30. If it is false, it takes the value 0. Be careful to the space and the semicolon so that the function if calculates well. 30 days with space is not 30 days attached. And now to not be limited to one condition 30 days, we will implicate several conditions quickly creating in the sheet tables all the conditions that we have in a table payment condition. So we enter 15 days. 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days, you can add the number you want, but provided you implicate it in the function if. We will see it in a moment. Create a drop-down list. We suppose you can easily create a drop-down list if you have followed the previous course list and VLOOKUP like that. At each false value 0, implicate a condition. And not to waste time. The table of payment terms and the drop-down list is ready as you see. And now I am going to use copy pass to fill the function if. And the same for 15 days. The same then for 60 days. And the same for 90 days. And when you select a payment condition, the due date is easily calculated. So we simply realize the calculation of the due date with a simple and intelligent method without hack your brains with the extraction of number in a text cell. We will see in the following how to select the tax according to the items. It is also very simple. It will take less than one minute to do it. We will add the tax field in the invoice. Now it is different each item to its own tax with, of course, the format printer to save time. If you want to calculate the amount in the same line, you can do it. Well, I calculate the subtotal at the foot of the invoice. In the sheet tables, 
add a tax column in the article table and enter the values 20%, 14%, and 7%. And then we add the function VLOOKUP for each item to select its own tax. The tax is the third column, it's why I entered 3 in call index number. So we skip the VLOOKUP formula in the tax column and change the cell format to a percent. Now we do not have total tax, 20%, but the total of all tax. We rename the field and then we calculate the sum of tax is the sum of the total line 1 multiplied by tax article 20% and total line 2 multiplied by 14% and total line 3 multiplied by 7%.